Okay, so today we're going to talk about bullying in VHS. With so many players with Dead by Daylight experience taking notice of the game, the first thing that many people will be concerned about is the potential for bullying or being bullied by teens with weapons. This was honestly my first thought as well. But after playing it myself as both roles, I'm comfortable telling you that while the potential for bullying will always be present, I don't think it's going to be as systemic as it is in Dead by Daylight. Space Coconut The most important thing that the devs have done that will indirectly help stem the occurrence of bullying is simply focusing around a single, distinct win condition. In Amsterdam, the urinals have flies on them. The psychology behind it is that guys will naturally try to pee on it without much thought. The result is less of a mess to clean up when guys miss or hit the wrong spot because they're trying to hit the fly. By having a win condition, players will more often than not work towards that win condition. Of course, the teen's win condition by itself is what's worrying players. Teens do have the power when they have weapons and it can feel like you can't escape or you can't do anything once they do have their weapons. But aside from skill in avoiding bad situations in the first place as the monster and using their defensive abilities, there are a few mechanics built into the game that will help prevent bullying. Once you do lose a stigma, you become banished and gain a significant speed boost. During this time, you can travel away from the teens without being bothered if you need to change your strategy in response to theirs. They can't affect you in any way during this time, which means they can only hit one of your stigmas at a time. So while it sucks, you can still attempt to outplay them once you reset. If they decide to use stun weapons to lock you down, they can only do so for a short time and lose their weapon once the stun takes place. Once they don't have a weapon, they can't bully you and are vulnerable to your attacks. However, a legitimate tactic is to stun the monster and then hit them with the kill weapon that will affect their stigma. So not only should you avoid situations where you could be ambushed like that, getting into the habit of being cautious will also help you avoid being chain stunned by bullies in the first place. Now, while I understand that it sucks to go into a match as a new player and run into more experienced players, like I've been doing for the past week, I need to make this perfectly clear. Everyone will start at zero. Those experienced players you're going against have played longer, and the only reason you're getting stumped is because you are still learning. This leads to matchmaking concerns, but if we've learned anything from the matchmaking fiasco in Dead by Daylight, it's that if the Hellbent devs decide to work on a matchmaking system, they might have to be very careful about how it's implemented if they do so at all. Dead by Daylight system is lazy and another band-aid for the core foundational issues the game has, so it's no wonder it's causing so many issues. VHS doesn't seem to have those foundational issues. So, some form of matchmaking could work, especially because everyone is aware of what a win is. But still, caution should be taken. With that in mind, I want to express this thought. It sucks to start at zero and to go against experienced players, but you have two choices if you find yourself in that position. You can cry about how hard it is and how unfair the matchmaking is and how much it sucked to get chain stunned by teens and beg the devs to change it just for you. Or you can do what the human race has done since the beginning of time, learn and improve. I'm still learning how to play monster, when to chase and when to recognize I'm walking into an ambush, when to wait for cooldowns, and when it's okay to rush in. And just a few nights ago, I managed to successfully break a three-team group with two weapons in the gym, which was a pretty feel-good moment. Okay, okay, okay. I got sidetracked a little, so let's focus back on bullying again. If experienced players do want to bully the opposing team, particularly teens bullying the monster, there is nothing to stop them from trying. However, as a monster, it's up to you to skillfully avoid the teen's weapons and strategies, whatever they are, in order to hit and ultimately down all of them. It's your strategy against theirs. Right now, in this version of the game, it's absolutely possible for teens to bully a monster. But the way the game is balanced and the objectives of each role being directly in opposition to each other will lead players to using stuns as a tactical choice rather than a way to bully monsters. This is my opinion, and of course I haven't examined every angle and possibility, so take this video at base value and consider the mechanics in place versus your own worst case scenario. Anything can change at this point, so we can revisit this topic in the future 
because as always, I could be completely wrong and bullying does become a systemic problem in VHS. But I mean, come on, how often have I been wrong? Next time we'll talk about Dead by Daylight compared to VHS in regards to the end game one versus one scenario. That's been a hot topic in the playtest discord, so look forward to that. Do the YouTube things if you liked the video, and until next time, I'm Space Coconut, and you're welcome.